What's up, everybody? Richard from True Shot here. And today we have the December 2020 three up, three down. Now, for those of you who are watching this for the first time, I did the first episode of this back uh, for November. And basically, what this is is I pick my three favorite songs from the previous month from reactions in which Adam and I both participated in. And then I pick my three least favorite. So, why don't we begin? Shall we? All right, let's start with The Good. Now, my number three track, this was a Patreon request, actually. And I, both Adam and I were just totally blown away by this song. It comes in at under three minutes, so you already know that this is, uh, you know, my kind of track. For us, this was like a throwback to, you know, some of that Taking Back Sunday, that My Chemical Romance, or as a lot of people point out in the comments, some old under oath. That is Static Dress for the attention of. Now, this song, like I said, it is so just, it's so like just nostalgic feeling, right? And then not only is it like that old, you know, that My Chemical Romance kind of feel that I really enjoyed back when I was younger, but it also has that gnarly breakdown at the end and the, the, the clean sections are just so good. And man, this song just is in the core 100 playlist. It's just such a great song to listen to. It's nice. It's short. It's sweet. It's to the point. And it really brings a, you know, a, 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 a fusion of the, the old school that I really love in the new school that I thoroughly enjoy now, you know, at number three for my least favorite, I'm going to get some hate for this one. And that's okay. Let me uh, let me clear my my brain here for a second as I prepare for the onslaught of uh, comments. <sighs> Number three for my least favorite songs of December 2020 was also I believe this was a Patreon. It was a, either a Patreon poll or a Patreon request. This is Black Tongue Ultima Nikat. <laughs> Now the reason why this one makes my list is this. I I was very, I was kind of conflicted here because I didn't I don't like the song. I just I'm not a fan of Black Tongue. I mean I I listen, it's one of those bands that I can watch them in a music video or just even just listening to them sonically and I can tell these guys are badass. Like these guys are very talented, but the music the songs are extremely long. Uh, like they're, you know, they're six minutes or so, which isn't like, I guess, extremely long. But when you couple that with just how they sonically deliver the music, it just feels like it goes on and on forever. And, um, I, we just did another reaction to them as well. Uh, coma that hasn't been released yet. So look for that in January. And I just wasn't a fan of that one either, man. And I know that people on Patreon and on YouTube alike are trying to get us into them, but I just cannot get into them. Let's move on to my number two favorite track of December. And this one came in very late. Um, and listen, man, anytime this band releases a song, I have a feeling I'm going to like it. They're heavy. They have a, it's a two piece. It infuses two of what some of my favorite musicians. One, we have Tom Barber from Chelsea Grin. We have Josh Miller from Amur. You guessed it. It's Darko U.S. with Pale Tongue. Yeah, man. I... <laughs> Darko is so heavy. Uh, it, 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 it's not only heavy, but it's just, it's so groovy. I just want to move as soon as I hear it. Tom's vocals are obviously insane, but just even like the rhythm patterns and everything going on throughout this whole track, coupled with a very compelling music video, Darko U.S. Pale Tongue is a hell of a track. I, I love it. That's in the Core 100 playlist now. It has replaced 
its predecessor, which was Insects. Uh, so if you have not heard Darko U.S. Pale Time, either check out our reaction or just check out the song in general because I believe you will love it. Moving over to number two on my least favorite tracks of December 2020. This was also a Patreon request. I, I feel like I'm beating up on the patrons, and I apologize. But this is Monastery's The Amygdala Chorus. <laughs> Now, when it comes to monasteries, there were some sections that I enjoyed. Um, but that's really all I can say. I mean, it, there were so many change-ups. It was hard for me to get into a groove. I think I felt like it was just kind of an amalgamation of different sonic uh, changes. And I just couldn't really get fully invested into it. Like I said, there were some sections that I kind of liked. But... Um, too all over the place for me, and it was actually, you know, kind of a longer song as well. Let's move over to my number one track of December 2020. And if you watch the awards show, you'll probably guess this as well. This is Landmarks Lost in a Wave. Fucking breath, I'm so fucking up! Now, for Darker US, they bring the brutality, they bring the heaviness that I love, but what Lost in a Wave does is it takes me on that ride of, starts out with that grungy open, you're kind of like, okay, I don't know where this is going, and then it drops right in quickly with a breakdown, great chorus, and then also that breakdown at the end, and you have, you know, the gutturals there at the end as well, uh, the, the vocalist, his, his, his range is just unstoppable, and... Uh, I, I I cannot wait for Landmarks in 2021. I can't wait for Darko in 2021. There's so many bands that I'm looking forward to in 2021. Uh, you know, I've set my goals very high for album reactions over on the Patreon, if you're interested in watching that, patreon.com slash true short official. And uh, Landmarks is definitely one that I expect to be in my top albums, but we'll see. Now, as you probably have guessed, my least favorite track of December 2020 was... Uh, a returning band after multiple years off. That is Attack Attack All My Life. Well, I thought we were friends, but you proved me wrong. You got in my head with the things that you said. Uh, now, this track, man, I I'll just be straight up. This was not good. I mean, I, I listen, man. I never really listened to Attack Attack back in the day. But from what I had listened to them, you know, they were at least fun. You know, they were like, uh, okay, this is a cool, fun band that I can just move around to. Uh, but straight up, this song was just, I felt like it was the same chord for throughout the entire song. Uh, it was so bland. It was just boring. I mean, it straight up was just boring. There was a severe lack of the crab core going on in this track. And I think probably everybody can agree with me on this. I don't know of too many people that I've seen that have actually enjoyed the song. I'm sure there are. But for me, in my sonic taste, I thought this song was just bland as hell. And uh, I thought that the hype leading up to it uh, versus the reward at the end uh, was very uh, mis mismatched. I, I was expecting, you know, about here. You know, I was like, okay, we're going to get the crab core back. It's going to be at least a fun song to just jam out to. And I got about way down here. I mean, I, I, I would go lower than the camera, but I want you to see, uh, the, you know, my hands. I just, um, yeah, man, you know, I won't beat a dead horse, but it was it was just boring, bland, and uh, very uninspiring. And I really hope that they uh, make a comeback with some other really cool tracks. And I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's one track, but there you have it. So my three least favorite and number three, Black Tongue Ultima Nikat. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Number two, Monasteries, The Amygdala Chorus, and number one, Attack, Attack, All My Life. My three favorite tracks, number three, Static Dress for the Attention of, number two, Darko U.S., Pale Tongue, and number one, Landmarks, Lost in a Wave. Guys, there you have it. There's my three up, three down for December 2020. As you can see all around me, got all of our usernames to all of our social media, as well as Patreon and Twitch, where I will be streaming uh, this Saturday, January 2nd, uh, I stream every Saturday over there at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you check us out over there. We also stream on Mondays at around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time where we do our reactions for the week as well. 
and also on Patreon, as I said, I have some very high goals uh, for album reactions. I'm hoping to get 60, depending on what comes out and when it comes out. My goal is 60 album reactions in 2021 over on Patreon. So that's at the $5 tier. Once again, patreon.com slash official. Anyways, till the next one. Peace.